Welcome back to the Eagle Sports Coaches Show. JT Webb joined now by assistant tennis coach Bradley Bryan. And coach, the men off to a pretty good start here the last couple of weeks. Won three straight matches, 18-3 and three in, in the games in those matches. So just talk about what's been going good for the for the guys right now. Um, right now the guys are going doing very well. Um, we're working on dictating the points. Um, I, sent, I just felt like after the um, our last – Defeat against, I think it was, I believe, Liberty. I find that a lot of the good teams were just dictating a lot of the points better than us, and we were always on the defensive. So, the last couple of practices, we've been working on dictating the points, coming forward a lot more, and I, and I see it's been paying off for the last three matches. And the thing about us uh, during the coaching staff, I find that we're 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 winning right now. We're in we're in a good good state of mind, but we're not settled. So we're always looking for ways to improve, which is very important. And this is a good thing. And you you open up the season with Louisville, who's a who's a one of the top programs yes. in the country, followed by Liberty. How much did playing those two teams help prepare for the the matches that we just won? Well, it, it gave us a wide opening of like what to expect. You know, this is the first. First, two, these two matches like showed us, showed the, um, us, the coaching staff, like what we have as a team and, and what we can improve. So these 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 teams are obviously pretty good. So we just use this as a stepping stone for um, preparing us for the for the, these last three matches. And the women won won their last match six zero against Pikeville and and have Lipscomb coming up on Thursday in Western Kentucky on Friday. What what's going well for them right now and what needs to be worked on? Well, right now, the girls are – hopefully this is a big confidence booster for us. I mean, we're still working on our situation with um, with Alex Travosky. Hopefully we hear something from her about her situation today. Once she comes in, she's going to make a difference, a big difference for us in doubles and singles. Um, I mean, right now the girls are also working on being able to dictate as well in the court as well. We were for, was working for both the guys and the girls. Um, we have we had a good run with with Marshall the other day and UK the other game. We just found that if we had also dictate better, we can have a good chance as well. We have um, Western Kentucky and Lipson coming up, and we've been working really hard and and I like our chances in both of those matches. So, what is there that that you know you need to work on going forward with each team? Um, just our a lot of it is just comes a lot of our t mental toughness and not being able to deal with excuses and then a little things get to us. And being able to come together as a team and work hard, you know. We, we all have, we, have, we I, I believe we have the talent in both guys and girls, but it's just the little things that, that could make a big difference for us going on the OVC. Speaking of the OVC, four-year player here, what do you take away from your playing career and and dictate to your team what, this is what you need to do to be successful in the OVC? Um, well, I, I take away – well, right now, as, as you know, oh, I play all four years in my OVC, I always look for the ways that, um, that I could have used to, like, better myself. Like, take, for instance, like – once I was done playing OVC, I always said to myself, "What if what What if I did this better? What if I did this better?" So I'm trying to teach these guys the things that I didn't do, that didn't work for me, and tell them which would help them to be better for the OVC. Coach, thank you very much for your time. We wish you all the best. Oh, thank you very much. That was assistant tennis coach Bradley Bryan. We'll be back with more. This is the Eagle Sports Coaches Show.